Hello, Pisces. This is your reading, bonus reading, mm, for August 2020. Almost knocked the uh, divider down, but this is for Pisces. Summon Rising bonus reading, August 2020. Looking for new energies and positive energies. The, the universe or the spirit decide to pick you next out of all the cards for Pisces Summon Rising. New energies, positive energies. As you know, this will not resonate with all Pisces individuals, but I try to reach the majority. I'm using the Naked Heart deck, and I'm using the Eighth House Tarot. I will also be giving Pisces a love reading at the end. Pick an energy, pick a card reading. It'll be a mini love reading, but it's there for those that want to hear about love. Like I said, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising will be the five card spread. Always look for positive energies, but if we don't get one, we work through it. We always work through it, okay? Don't leave you hanging. <clears throat> but at the same time, we got to give an honest reading. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may be gaining some money. Some of you may be gaining independence and looking fine at it, right? Yeah, Pisces may be getting some money. In the past, you felt like you the sage. It's like the Hierophant. The way I'm reading it, it's like the Hierophant. Um, you may have been a little discouraged with um, society, with conformity, the way things are going on in the world, as everybody else is, most people. The sage in reverse. Five of Pentacles is the obstacle. You're trying to come out of not having enough. Maybe, you know, a lot of you lost money. Maybe some of you lost jobs. Maybe you're just worried that you won't be able to pay bills with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And you're attempting to regain um, balance and money in your life, which it looks like you may actually do. Current environment, the Nine of Wands. You, The Nine of Wands is in reverse. You're feeling like maybe... The work is not out there. You don't know which way to go just yet. You're thinking about which direction you should take before you go to the next level with the nine of wands. What is coming towards you? Seven of swords. Someone's going to do something pretty sneaky to you. Pisces, someone's going to think they're going to get by with something, but you see all. We'll clarify these. You know I clarify them. In the end... Seven of Cups, you're going to get a lot of offers. You're going to get a lot of offers. So it does look like you're going to make some gain and gain some independence, but there's a lot of offers that you feel like maybe may not be for you. Um, you, you it's, it's about making the right decisions and what offers you take. You feel like whatever's being offered to you is not 100%. It doesn't mean that they're not good for some of you. You're just got your head in the clouds a little bit, which way you should go. And I do feel that way. Also, I'm feeling that someone is maybe trying to do something sneaky, and that's why you're not trusting and taking certain offers, but we'll see what's going on, okay? You got the Sage card in reverse, not trusting in society, conformity, teachers that are out there trying to tell you what's what. I need two cards from the 8th House Tarot concerning the Sage in reverse. Two cards, please, for Pisces. Five of water. You're disappointed in society, as most people are. Seven of air. You're feeling like people are lying to you. You feel like they're trying to get by with something. With the seven of air. You got that twice. Seven of swords, seven of air is the same thing. And you got it in the past. You got what is coming towards you also. So it's like you're just disappointed in people and society. Like I said, you feel like people were trying to pull the wool over your eyes, but they didn't. <clears throat> obstacle the five of pentacles you're afraid you may not be able to pay your bills afraid you may not have enough money so the five of pentacles in reverse i need two cards please for pisces two cards for pisces page of fire passionate new beginnings you want messages to come in that are, are worth it and you want a little give and take from people you know you know i scratch my back you know you know give and take you know i scratch my back you scratch my back i scratch yours that's basically what you're thinking you know i put the work in now you give me what's mine and that's what you're wanting you know you're wanting messages of passion messages messages that will bring you the stability you're wanting and you feel like maybe it's a little slow or you're afraid it may not come in but i do believe it will come in because of that nine of pentacles that energy will eventually come in 
Now, the current environment is the Nine of Wands. Maybe some of you are not working right now. Maybe some of you don't know which way to turn when it comes to where you want to go in life. You know, the next going to the next level. So the Nine of Wands in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Pisces. Two cards for Pisces, please. Eight of air. You're feeling a little trapped. You're feeling trapped, not knowing which way to go. Could have to do with the king of fire. King of fire can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm thinking it's more like somebody who is... Yeah, it's like you lost motivation. You're feeling trapped. It also could, like I said, you're feeling trapped with a basic fire sign. Or you yourself, like I said, are lacking a lot of passion, not knowing where to go next in life. Well, what you got coming towards you is the Seven of Swords, and it's also in the past, so it's still pretty much going on where someone's trying to get by with something, but you see it. They're trying to pull the wool over your eyes, and you're like, yeah, right, I see what you're up to. So the Seven of Swords in the upright, I need two cards for Pisces, what's coming towards them. King of Earth. This is Earth Fire. So it's still it's like someone a little older too. Ace of Air. So yeah, someone that it has a lot of fire and air in their astrology chart. They may be saying things or doing things to you or insinuating things that are underhanded. You're dealing with somebody who's underhanded that thinks they're getting by with something, but you see it, like I said. And um I don't see you putting up with it. I see them like making you offers too, because at the end they're giving you a lot of offers and they may be a little confusing for you. Okay. And also be careful of what you accept, even though for some of you, you may see that they're doing something kind of off, may accept them anyway, a little bit or consider it, but it's saying there may be some confusion here. It also could be that you're not seeing things clearly, but you're going to be getting a whole lot of offers. Let's see what that's about. So the Seven of Cups in the upright. I need two cards, please, for Pisces. A lot of cards want to come out. Yeah, be careful of who you offer um, your cup to, your emotions to, because I feel like the right one's coming along, but you may be dealing with people that aren't for you just yet, and you got to be careful who you go with. Let me put it that way. And I think you're going to see this person for who they are and trust yourself because some of you may not trust yourself. You may be thinking, well, maybe I'm just being paranoid. Maybe I'm just, you know, um, thinking negatively, but it, it, this person is coming towards you does have the seven of swords and maybe they did it before, but seven of cups, I need two cards, please. Like I said, for Pisces at the end, and then I'll do the love reading. The lovers, yeah, they're going to offer you something. Someone's going to offer you a love situation, three of water. But, you know, for some of you, this person may be overindulging with other people, with um, the spirits, you know, going out and partying too much, or other people, like I said, other people. But I feel like they're making promises to you that are not exactly solid, okay? So... When you get all these offers, just make sure you pick the right person and, and, and trust your intuition. Most of all, trust your intuition because you're going to be a little confused. They're going to be really um, a Don Juan or a very, um, uh, just a very uh, passionate, charismatic person. And, you know, when they, uh, you know, approach you, but they're not 100% going to give you everything you're wanting. Let me put it that way. King of Air. Now, at the end, you, I get, think you will end up with a king of air. This is air fire. Look at air and fire in their astrology chart. What I mean by dominant, be very dominant. So I do see you having a lot of options and offers. I'm feeling that you should trust your instincts of who is the right one. If someone you feel like someone's being sneaky, they probably are or not being honest with you and go with the right person that's going to offer you some because there are other people out there willing to make you offers also. And they're the ones that are for you. Okay. So like this one that is for you, that's in the upright, they got a lot of air and fire in their chart, but some others are not. So don't get confused. Trust yourself. Okay. And this could have to do with the job too. It's got money because I saw it had to do with money too. You know, gaining your independence, gaining more money. 
and you know work career all those things so it could be lovers could be all of them family could be family but let's see what the angels have to say about your love life for pisces sun moon rising that wants to pop out attraction someone's de you definitely got your attracting people right now pisces you are attracting people so if you don't feel like you are maybe you're not getting out enough maybe because of the way society is but if you if you wanted to you can have just about anybody you set your mind to right now but not all of them are going to be on the up and up. Let me put it that way. But I need three cards for love, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For the pick a card, pick a path, pick an energy, you know. But I bring them all together at the end anyway for secondary energies. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising bonus for August 2023 cards from the Angel Love cards. Angel Romance. And three cards. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is just going. Three cards from the Angel Answers, because they're a different deck. I'll put in my description of what they, who, you know, what cards I use. I try to anyway. Sometimes I forget. But three cards from the Angel Answers. Pick a path, pick a card, energy for Pisces. Bonus reading about love. What they need to know about love. And I'll also pick three cards from... The Moonology cards, because people seem to like them and they shuffle really nice. So I need three cards for the pick a card for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, August. Bonus August reading about love. They need to know more about love. Something positive, hopefully. Now let's see what's going on. In this section, if you pick this section... Give a relationship a chance. I do feel like you're going to have more than one option, though. Just, you know, you want to pick the right one. So, for some of you, you may not be wanting the person that is actually right for you. You may like the bad boy or bad girl type image or person. But it says give the person that you may not, you know, that is up on the up and up, give it a chance. I believe that is. And learn when to say no to other people. You're going to be struggling with that. You're going to get a lot of offers. And you're, you, you know, you may be really um, um, swept away on your feet by someone like a Don Juan, very charismatic. Know when to say no, though. You may be afraid to do so. But you need to release the negativity, the negative that's around you and the people that are negative around you if you want the real love to come in, the love that stays a while. Okay, so give someone out there, I'm feeling this intensely, that the person that's going to be right for you, you may not give a chance at first. You may say, well, that, you know, we don't have nothing in common. I think this other guy's more sexy or this other woman's more sexy or whatever you're into. You're going to th like the charismatic person first. But the one that's probably quiet or works too much or whatever, they're probably the one for you. Okay? Just putting it out there. You don't have to take it. You can go with the other. There isn't a possible engagement, you know, a commitment at hand if you want it within the next few weeks. So it's up to you. Pick the right person and you will have engagement coming in. And if you, it's a void of course, you know, the moon would be void at this time when you're going to be dealing with other people. If you're going to go with the other person, nothing's going to come of it with the moon. If you go with the Seven of Swords energy person, nothing will come of it. It'll just go bust. But you got someone else wanting to make a commitment. I'm feeling this. So it's up to you. you got more than one option. If you put yourself out there where people can see you, you will get offers. Some will not be good for you. Others will be. Getting to know the person before you turn them away or commit. Because remember, I said one is good for you, one is not possibly there's perfect timing. It'll start unfolding on itself. I did, you know, be, I said I'd bring them all together at the end, but if I go back, it's going to happen probably within the next few weeks. Perfect timing is at hand. And it's time to give um, rather than take. So remember I told you this is a little give and take. Um, if you do like that Six of Pentacles where someone is giving something to you and you want something back, um, give a little bit more of your heart. Don't think that everybody is out to get you, even though this one person probably is. I shouldn't say that. But there's actually a good person out there. Don't make them pay for what other people are doing. Okay, that's wrong. You know, that's wronged you. 
So get to know the person before you, the right person before you turn them away and turn away to get to know the person that is sneaky so you know to turn them away. You can have a commitment if you want it to, but realize you please pick the right person is what it's saying in this deck. But some of you may like that charismatic down one type energy or that, you know, bad girl, bad boy type situation. But it's up to you, Pisces. If you're wanting a reading, I suggest a lot of you go to Roxy Bolt. I will put her in my community section, you know, to um, get a reading if you want. I recommend her. She does not sponsor me. I just like her. Known her for a while now. She has her own channel, and she's a reader. I will be giving readings around December, January, maybe even <clears throat> live. So if you want to tune into that later on, please do. But Roxy is a really great reader. So um, check her out. I'm trying to reach her, get her up to... Um, a thousand subscribers. So please watch and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye.